Sonia, what was it like filming Crappy Lake together? I mean, this is a little literal fish out of water. What were you worried about kind of going into it? Definitely fish out of water. Yes. And I got the fish out of the water with my bare hands. Thank you. Went for it. Sonia was not catching that fish. That is for sure not. And I wasn't eating testicles. Yeah, I had to do all the testicle lifting, really. Not that day, Sonia. Yeah, yeah. and um, it was great. We had a great time together. I mean, the townspeople were fantastic. Uh, the Benton Motel. Did you say townspeople? Uh, yes. <laughs> the village people sound better. No, the townspeople. <laughs> I love the people from that town. They're the sweetest. They're building an addition on the That's motel amazing. now. Um, it sold out through next year in the most Wow. So, Has, very I, exciting. I have a question. Sonia, have you kept in touch with the man that yeah. you met at the yes. bar? Yes. The problem is, if I text you, you need to be there in 10 minutes, right? This guy drives his truck all the way from Florida anywhere, and he always brings his dog. Oh. So, I was like, okay. I thought know, he was from Louisiana. He does not come to New York. He does not fly. Oh. Who Trace can do that? I mean, I'll do almost anything, but I'm not gonna do somebody that doesn't fly. Trace, Trace Amigas, would you stay in their hotel? Would you stay in Luann and Sonia's uh, motel? Would oh, in the motel friend? room? Yeah, that was, that was a small room for, we filmed for six Did weeks we? that show, so we were there quite a long time, and, um, but you get used to it, you know what I mean? It's like- It's kind of like prison? Never shook her head, no. Yeah, it's kind of like prison, Kind of yeah. like prison, you get used to it after a while? You do get used to living out of a suitcase, actually, and I've been doing that for years now. So. Would you three go to Crappy Lake? Would you catch a catfish out of I'm the... from Illinois, so I'll go. Yeah. yeah. I might want to see it. I'm a little bit scruffy. I'd go. I noticed that Shannon Bador is a little silent over there. Yeah, I just, I would go, but I would not be involved with a testicle or a, a yeah. fish. <laughs> <laughs> no testicles or fish for Shannon. Um, is there any franchise that all of you would love to just like drop in for like a week. I'm not even talking about being a permanent cast member, just like wanna see what it's like to be a Beverly Hills or a Southern Charmer for I, a week. I always answer if people say, if you wanted to go in another franchise or who would you wanna do something with, I say Sonia Morgan because she's a kick in the pants. So if I could ever go to the original Real Housewives of New York, I think that would be. Oh, oh, yes. We love you we too, love you too. I love this, Vicky. I, I want to go to Miami. Oh, yeah. oh fit in I think so Miami well. is so sexy. I love the boats and all the water and the people and the culture. I want to go to Miami. Tam Tam? I'm going to New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. Because those girls know how to fight. I, it's blood over and there. So I know. I'll fit right in. You'll fit right in perfectly. Luann, Sonia, where are you guys dropping into? I would go down to uh, Southern Charm. I'm very good friends with Patricia Alchul. Way before we were married. So I always like going down there. And then I'll, I want to see what those guys are up to. Wait, wait, wait. Sonia, do you want to hook up with any one of them? Oh, no, no. I want to keep it friendly. I'm friends with Craig. Even Austin? Austin, yeah. No, I can't anybody like that. No. <laughs> because I don't fool around with coworkers. The universe that, is large enough that, that I don't yeah. have to do that. Does anyone in the audience believe Sonia when she says that? No. <laughs> Did I sleep with Paul Nassif? No, we slept in the same bed. I didn't have sex with him. Oh. Okay. Good Paul Massive? Mr. Bravo Con Good to know. Massive. Oh, yeah, and, and Vicky and I were out with you that night. Yeah. yeah. Remember, oh, I stayed with Paul. Yeah, yes, yeah yes, I stayed we with Paul. We I was said, wondering. Sonia, you live that way, and we're going to the hotel this way. I and like, I told Tanya. Paul, one sheet up, one sheet down. <laughs> Kept it PG. Kept it PG. I just, I don't fool around where I work. Luann, where are you dropping into? I think I'm going to go below deck, but stay above the deck and maybe, you know, go below deck with Jason. <laughs> oh my God, I hope he's not watching. Yeah. Oh, where, I'm going to make him, make him watch He has later. a huge crush on you, so don't worry. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. We're gonna... <laughs> I knew this panel was going to pop off at like 10 a.m. <laughs> Uh, before we get to our game, I just want to know, this is a la, not to Vicky here, but what lifetime achievements are you all most proud of during your time on Bravo? Uh, Vicky, let's start with you. Wow. Well, when I started filming, and we had no idea it was going to be this, you right. know, 18 years later. So I'm just proud of, you know, 
every year I gave up my all, you know, whether it was a good year or a bad year, you saw my tears, you saw my laughter, you saw my stupid falling, getting hit in the head with a football like, ooh, Chairman, I was there. Have but it just, I, I'm proud of every year. It was just seeing my life evolve into where it's at now. Who would have ever thought that we'd be here? So I want to thank you all. Thank you all. Luann, what about you? What are you most proud of on your time on Bravo? Um, <clears throat> You know that I managed to raise two healthy children through the whole process, you know? <clears throat> Victoria and Noel, and you know, to, to uh, grow up on reality TV, which they did as teenagers, you know, right. my son's still not over the skateboarding uh, uh, rap, you know, thing that he did on the show. He's so embarrassed by the break dancing that, you know, and Victoria, the etiquette lesson at the Hampton Classic, remember, oh, with yeah. all her girlfriends, and um, so, you know, I'm, I'm proud that I've been able to manage all these years and have terrific children and still have a career in television, at, you know, at Bravo. So yeah, uh, now Crappy Lake and then, you know, and then, of course, building a cabaret career out of this whole thing. So Shannon, pick one moment for me you're most proud of. I mean, I would say the fact that I can watch my kids grow up, too, because my twins were nine and they just left for college. So Wow. And, and to go through a lot of life's challenges with me, like infidelity and incredible yeah. weight gain, and see that I got through it. So Because you're a human being at the end of the day, and we all actually go through that stuff. Let's not forget, they're reality stars, but they're also human beings. And, you know, for the parents on here, it's, it's cool. so interesting. You guys get the coolest home videos of your kids. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Tam. So for me, I just love having all the memories documented from my kids being on early in the, the franchise to my proposal in Bora Bora. Right. To, yeah, being baptized, my granddaughter being born, like all these great things. And now it's going to come full circle because my daughter is going to film next year. So oh! That's <laughs> that is huge. Are you giving her tips? Don't make me look bad. Yeah. <laughs> Sonia, any one moment for you that kind of pops off in your mind? Well, when I first came on, I was in the middle of my divorce. Right. So I was trying to find my footing and how was I going to reinvent myself and be independent outside of my marriage and take care of my daughter, obviously, who I'm very proud of. She graduated UPenn, summa cum laude. She has a job in West Hollywood, a wow. good one, in finance. But I would say I came on not knowing how it would fit in because I did turn it down when it was just Jill and I starting out um, uh, New York City Moms or whatever it was. I, I didn't think I could handle it. It and was then called I, Manhattan she's, Moms to yeah, decide yeah. to join Real Housewives of dot, right. dot, dot. I'm like, what the heck's going on here? I thought it was just of Orange County. And then they came on. It was great. Popping off. And, and so then when I saw how well Luann and Ramona were doing and how they handled, you know, raising their children in that climate, I was like, oh, I have to go back and ask them if they're still interested. Besides, I wasn't getting any divorce dollars. So I, I came on and I was friends with all the girls for real. And they were there for me. But I was getting a lot of shit about, you know, you're not a businesswoman, particularly from my friend Ramona, right? She'd always be like, Sonia, I have to talk to you. You have to have a Instagram, a checking account, and an LLC. I'm like, I know, bitch. I have five LLCs. Leave it up to Sonia for me to ask one moment, and she just ranted for like eight minutes. <laughs> I, I look at her, everyone. This so I do amazing. have an FM brand. Yes. I have just. a fashion collection at Walmart. I have my comedy tour. One moment. And I'm not Sonia. FM. Just Banana. swipe up right here for 20% off. Yeah, right, exactly. You get a coupon, and you get a coupon.